In this video, I am doing a review all about this wig I have right here. I made the wig myself. It's more a review about the hair. This is not a sponsored video. I wanted to get it out right at the beginning. This hair was not sent to me. And can you believe this hair is over two years old? I purchased this in December, November of 2019 and I still have it and it still looks amazing and it's still doing amazing. So I thought I'd do a final unsponsored review for you guys because I find it very hard to find unsponsored reviews. Although they are YouTubers that I trust, even if the video is sponsored, you know, we gotta make our money. Even if it's sponsored, I do trust their opinion. So just wanted to get that out there. If you don't know me, my name is Angelica. I post videos twice a week all about growing healthy hair. So if that seems interesting to you, consider subscribing. The subscription button is right down there as well as the bell icon make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every single time I post let's get into it if you want a video on how I curled this wig I am happy to make it this wig obviously does not naturally come like this it's been two years it obviously doesn't look like this I curled it to look like this so if you want to see a video on that I'll make it I also just cut in some curtain bangs recently because you know TikTok. Okay, so let's get into the specs. Where did I buy the hair? How much was it? All that kind of stuff. So the first thing is I purchased this hair from where most people on YouTube get it from, AliExpress. And I have heard, actually when I was looking to buy this hair and when I see other wig reviews or hair reviews, I see people in the comments saying stuff like, these companies send better hair to influencers or to YouTubers and then when they send us hair, it's not that good. This was not sent to me as a gift and it was not sent to me for an ad. I purchased it, so I'm assuming if you order hair, there's a very high chance you get the same hair that I got because, you know, nothing special. I just ordered it from the site. And the name of the company on AliExpress is Sealy Hair. Actually, I have the bag. Hold on. I repurposed this bag because I do not throw away plastic. So this is the bag it came in. That's the name of the company. You can see it written properly. Sealy hair. Um, so it came in this bag. There was no like fancy individual packaging. It just came in a regular DHL bag. I got the Brazilian Body Wave. It is three bundles of the Brazilian Body Wave and then a six by six closure. The Body Wave curls are, I would say your standard Body Wave curls. I would say one bundle had that weird like wiggy smell that comes with hair from AliExpress. I think it's from all the steam processing that goes on in the factories. Um, and then the other bundles just smelt, I don't know, like hair? I don't know. No matter what the smell is or what it looks like, I still always wash the bundles before I make a wig or anything like that. But now it's been over two years and I do use heat on this hair. I used heat to create these curls. A lot of times I do heatless curls, but sometimes I will wear this hair bone straight and that's my favorite thing about the body wave because you can wear it bone straight you can wear it curly you've got a little bit more freedom with it compared to other textures and now i would say it's a little bit more of like a side like a 2b you know it's got light waves to it when it dries but you definitely won't get these kinds of curls after over two years and then for the lengths i got the bundles in the length 16 18 and 20. i prefer to always get different lengths of wigs because it cuts down my cutting because i don't like hair that is all the same length even my natural hair is not all the same length i like layers i think it gives the hair body it gives it movement it makes it look a little more natural i did cut in some curtain bangs in the front here these are these little short ones here so if you're thinking about it and you're like i want 20 inch long hair and you're like i just want three bundles of 20 inches because i want really long hair i would still suggest you get the different levels unless you are looking for that completely even thick one length hair then i would say you can go ahead and do that but if you want your hair to look a little bit more like how mine is looking in this video then i would suggest you get those different lengths and like I said, I did cut in curtain bangs, so I still go in and trim a little bit sometimes. This is a six by six free part closure and it is 14 inches. I do like some framing pieces around my face. So again, I do feel like I'm wasting length if I get a longer closure, like the same length as my second bundle, cause then I'm gonna have to cut in more layers. I prefer to just get the shorter one. And the best thing about loving layers and having shorter layers and a shorter closure is it's cheaper we'll get into the price at the end but i just want to throw that out there of course if you're getting shorter hair it's cheaper another thing you need to note is the longer the hair most of the time with most of the companies i have seen the longer the hair the thinner the bundle or let me say the smaller the bundle not the individual hair being thinner but because the hair is so long the track is shorter 
So just keep that in mind. So if you wanted this exact same amount of fullness, except you're using like 25 inch hair or 26 inch hair, and like 20 inch hair, you're probably going to need to add another bundle to achieve this kind of fullness. Okay, so let's get into the texture of the closure because I find that this is the biggest issue with most companies and most closures. You usually find that the closure is either a completely different texture than the rest of the hair, even if you buy it as a pack with like the bundles, or it's like a slightly different color, or it kind of looks the same, but it doesn't blend the same. I really like this closure. It fits in really, really well. It is a six by six closure. I think I could actually survive with a five by five closure because this is what it looks like. That's the full closure. So it's from here to here. And a lot of the time, I don't even feel the need to blend in like this much of the hair. So I could lose an inch. I think the next time I order a wig, I am definitely going to order a five by five. And when it comes to blending, as you can see, it blends seamlessly. It blends perfectly well with the rest of the hair. It is the same color. It is the same texture. But I will say, when you wash it, especially if you're using shampoo, I do find that my closure is just a little bit more coarse than the rest of my hair. And it kind of like almost tangles up when it's wet a little bit differently than the rest of the hair. But once it's dry and everything is whatever whether i air dry whether i do it like this whether i heat style it whether i do a heatless curl the hair always blends it looks the exact same it's only when you're washing it that you need to be careful okay so next we're talking about the closure again because this is very important lots of these wigs say you don't have to bleach the knots because the lace is like pre-bleached or anything like that the lace was was it transparent lace? I don't wanna seem like I'm being like, oh, I think I'm the shit or something like that. It's just that I'm doing this video for free and if you guys love this wig and you go and purchase it, you know, there's a very high chance that I'm making this company a lot of money for free. So I'm telling you the name of the hair, I'm telling you the type of hair that I got and I will put the link in the description box for a short time. But eventually I'm going to take that out and you know, if they wanna sponsor me and pay me and I can advertise the link, with some payment, then I will feel free to do that. But I'm, I'm just gonna mention this. I also just wanna put that out there. If you wonder why I love wigs, but I don't do reviews of wigs on this channel a lot, it's because a lot of these hair companies try to lowball us YouTubers and they'll be like, can you do this video for us just in exchange for the wig? I'm selling this wig and maybe they're selling this wig for like $300 at the time. And there's 58,000 of you. And if like 10 of you buy, that's like thousands of dollars for them and I'm getting, what, a free wig? It's not worth it for me. So if they're not willing to pay me to advertise something or I don't like the product generally, even if they offer me a good amount of money, I'm not going to do it. So always know that if you see me do a review of any product or wig or service, it's because I genuinely like it and they're also paying me adequately. So that's why there's very few sponsored posts on this video is because... I don't play about my business. So all that was to say, you'll see in that link whether it is just transparent lace or regular lace. I don't remember, honestly. It's been a long time since I bought it. But whatever it says, it doesn't matter whether it says regular lace or transparent, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're still going to have to bleach the knot. Sometimes when you bleach lace, it becomes kind of brittle and it's like easy to tear. There is not a single hole or a single tear in this lace. It is exactly as it was when I purchased it, only I do make a part in the middle a lot. So maybe it is slightly thinner than when I purchased it, but I, I really can't tell honestly. Okay, so now for the hair color. What is the hair color? Did I color it? Can it be colored? All this. This hair, according to the site, can be colored and from the way the knots bleached very easily i would assume that this hair can be colored very easily i did not bleach it this is the natural color of the hair and it is i think a number two or i think the color is just called natural it's like a brown so it's actually very similar to my hair because it has like slightly light brown highlights like the light is hitting me from this side so you might be able to see like the hair maybe looks a little more a little bit more brown from this end and then it's more of just like a very deep brown and the brown highlights are more of like a chocolatey brown this is the darkest i can go i have tried black hair many times wigs braids whatever when i put it close to my face it just washes my face out and it makes me look 
so ashy. I'm pretty sure they do have a number one, which is a pure black. So if you want black, it is available, but I got the brown and I kept it in the natural color because that's how I like it. Okay, let's talk about shedding. From the state of the wig, as you can see, I'm pretty sure you can assume that this hair doesn't shed that much or else it would be very thin by now as I wear it often, not every day by all means, not even every week. Sometimes I'm, per I'm sure I've gone even a few months without ever wearing this wig um, or any wig, but this hair does not shed how am i gonna say this it doesn't shed a lot it sheds less than human hair like the hair that's on your head we lose about 60 to 100 hairs every single day so obviously this hair doesn't just fall out so it will only shed when you're combing it so the shedding is going to depend on how violent you are with your hair in terms of how it sheds with combing it the way you should it barely sheds like when I run my fingers through my hair I don't have like pieces of hairs on my hands when I comb my hair as well there is very few shed hairs that come out there's one hair down here so shedding very minimal shedding but also please take note that the way you deal with the hair is going to affect how it sheds so so if you put curls in it like this or you've just kept it in a really like cold dry place and the hair is super dry and then you just go ahead and put the comb straight in the root here and just yank it it's just like your own hair you're gonna experience breaking you're gonna experience shedding and your wig is not going to last as long as possible so you have to treat your wig properly as well if you don't want too much shedding okay so tangles as you saw of course yes i did curl this hair i actually curled it yesterday and i just took out the clips today and it formed really nicely so obviously my hair is still like in a really good state. It's not tangling. But as you saw, I did just comb through all my hair and there was not a single tangle, even though it's curly. When the hair is straight, it does not tangle. When it is hot, it doesn't form that. If you have a wig, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's that when you have bad hair, it kind of forms like a knot at the back of your neck, especially if you sweat a lot. This hair does not do that. It tangles like regular long hair. Like the longer your hair is, the more prone it's going to be to tangles. Again, similar to the shedding, I would not say it doesn't tangle at all, but I would say it tangles like normal. Like if you have similar hair tech, if you have a similar hair texture to this, or even just your natural hair, perhaps when it's straight or you put maybe flexi rods in it, the way it tangles, but if it was smoother, the way it tangles is kind of similar to that. If you just leave your hair like this and it's matted and you lie down on it and you sit on it and it's hot and then you just like, you know, leave it alone and the hair starts, starts matting together and you don't know how to detangle it, of course, eventually it's going to tangle. But if you take care of it properly, the way you take care of your own hair, I would not say this hair is tangly at all. It doesn't even have like static that makes it like stick up and stuff a lot. So now let's get into the texture. Now, I love the texture of this hair because I feel like this is what I would imagine in my head when I get the perfect, perfect silk press, what my hair would feel like, but slightly more smoother because obviously the strands are more silky. The hair feels very nice and silky. It is extremely soft. It feels amazing. There's no like scratchy feeling on your skin. It is bouncy. It has movement. This is not one of those, you know, my hair, it don't move. As you can see, it has body, it has movement. The individual strands are thick and they are a lot. To be honest, before I bought this wig, I would only buy Peruvian hair because I felt like it blended perfectly with my relaxed hair when I would leave, when I would do leave out. So this time I was like, well, I'm doing a wig so I can do Brazilian. It doesn't matter if it blends with my hair or not because I won't be leaving any of my hair out. And this actually feels... It was from a different company, but I would say it feels exactly the same as the Peruvian hair. It has a nice thickness. It has a nice bounce to it, but it doesn't feel like, I don't want to sound rude, but Caucasian hair. This does not feel like that, okay? This is definitely Asian hair. It is smooth, it is shiny, it has bounce, but it does have enough texture in it for it to hold a curl really well without you having to add in any texture spray or any holding spray. This hair has no holding spray, it has no texture spray, it has no back combing. I didn't have to do anything to manipulate the texture to make the curls hold like this. It just has the perfect amount of texture to hold the curl, but still be bone straight, shiny, and flowy. And the other thing I really like about it, it has, 
is it has a beautiful natural shine, shinier than my own hair, but it's not too shiny to the point where it looks just like a wig. Like, you know, there's those wigs that just have such unbelievable shine, which is just too much. And also, I like to get wigs that look like my hair in another life. So I always get wigs that are either shorter than my own hair or longer than my own hair, just so it's different from my actual hair. So let's get into the curls. I already addressed that this hair curls really well. I usually wear this hair straight or in natural curls, but because I was doing this video, I felt it would be a great demonstration to actually have curls that use heat in it. And as you saw, I have been combing through it and the curls are obviously gonna drop a little bit by the end of the day, but I love these kinds of curls. I'm a bouncy, big, like loose wave kind of curls, girl i don't really like extremely tight curls on these wigs one because oh my god it's so much work unless that's the natural texture of the hair by the way it holds these big curls using my barrel curler i would suggest it would suggest that it can definitely hold those curls very well as well and the curls don't make the hair tangle it is such amazing hair i'm really vouching for this hair because I would definitely purchase it again. The only reason why I probably won't purchase this hair again is because I'm a YouTuber and I need to try different things so I can share them with you. So should I buy another wig soon? It will probably be for a different company just for the different experience. Not to mention I've had this for two years, you know, I can try something else if I want to. But if I'm like, I want hair for an event and I want to be guaranteed that it's going to be amazing, I'm just gonna go and get this exact same hair again because I know what I'm getting. Tight curls, I don't know, but another disclaimer, the more hair you have and the longer it is, the shorter amount of time it can hold a curl only because the weight of the hair affects the curl. No matter what, gravity is going to kind of pull it down. Okay, the price, I'm sure this is something you all want to know. I'm sure a lot of you have even skipped to this part just to see the price. And with this hair, I think I'm definitely getting way more than I'm paying for. This cost $178. I'm pretty sure it is still the same price now, but I will say I purchased this on Black Friday I think AliExpress always has an 11-11 sale and a Black Friday sale. They're both in November, so the time difference is not that much. I wanted to get this for my birthday, so I might have got it on the 11-11 sale. I can't remember, but the sales are almost the same on Black Friday and 11-11. And I'm pretty sure I got this for like maybe $40 or $50 off. If you don't know me, I'm the queen of sales. They just follow me around. I always find amazing deals on things, even when I'm not looking. So yes, I did get it for that price, but I would still absolutely pay full price. It's definitely worth the price. I think companies are selling this kind of hair for like $300, $400 for this length. So it is definitely worth the price if you are thinking about it. Okay, so now I'm going to go into something that I don't see too many wig reviews getting into, and I find a lot of people don't know this, so I thought I'd inc include this at the end. And this is how to care for your wig, because I know so many people and they'll say, I got hair from the same company that you got it from, or I ordered hair from a company that's even supposedly better than the one you got from, and the hair is even more expensive, except your hair looks better than mine, and mine looks like trash. Just after a month or two, it starts to look really bad. What am I doing wrong? Is the hair just trash? I'm going to go into a few 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 quick tips on how to care for your wig so you can make it last this long so the first thing is i don't wear this wig very often which means i don't have to wash it very often when i'm not wearing it i either store it on my mannequin head because i like it to keep its shape really well so i store it on the mannequin head and sometimes i'll just put a bonnet or a plastic bag over that so that there's no like dust and germs and whatever is just in the air attaching itself to your hair so that minimizes how many times you have to wash it if you wash your wig like once a week every single week it's going to start to get a little more damaged more than usual also if you're using too many products on your wig it will mean you are going to have to wash it more often I see a lot of people using like natural hair products on their wigs the way they use them on your own hair First of all, you don't need that much product. You don't have to put it that often. This is a completely different texture of hair. It is not the same. 
One thing that amazes me is I have seen a lot of people use that pink lotion on their wigs and they kind of use it to maybe stick down flyaways and just kind of douse it on the hair because it's they think it's maybe moisturizing the hair and it just messes up the hair and it just looks so bad and like stringy. As you can see, my hair does not look stringy at all and I did not wash this hair before I curled it, okay? I washed this hair, I think, a month ago or more and I just kept it like... There was nothing going in, it wasn't going in a bag. So I just detangled it, curled it, and here we are. I didn't even put any water on it to detangle it. This is just what we're working with. So you really don't have to wash it that often. And when you do wash it, try and co-wash unless you're using a lot of oils on it, which you shouldn't be. But try co-washing a little bit more and then, or at least if you shampoo, only do one shampoo. And if you haven't been putting too many products on your hair, one shampoo should be enough to go through all the hair. I just focus more on the actual cap to make sure that any like sweat or oils from my own hair haven't seeped into the wig cap. So I do go ahead and put in a little bit more effort into washing the wig cap. But for the hair, I just go ahead and shampoo once and then condition, rinse it out. I always condition. Now, if you want to know the specific products, honestly, this hair compared to mine is extremely easy to manage. So whenever I buy a hair product that doesn't necessarily work on my hair or I feel like it's just like, nah, you know, it does, it can do something. Nothing amazing. Nothing's gonna happen to my hair if I stop using it. Those are the products I use on my wig. So if I bought a shampoo, that's just like, you know, whatever, nothing special. I'll wash my wig with that. I use Garnier um, shampoo, conditioner, whatever. Like even if I have conditioner where I know, you know when you reach the bottom of your deep conditioner or your conditioner where you're like, I don't wanna throw this away, but it's so worthless. So you're like you're just gonna either use it on your hairline or maybe on the ends of your hair. Like it can't even do a section of your hair. That kind of thing when I have any conditioners, cheapy conditioners that are just finishing up, that's what I will go ahead and use to put on this, to put on my wig. So what I would do is I will wash it always with warm water so that you know all the cuticles are nice and open, not hot, just warm. I will wash the wig with a, either co-wash or shampoo. Then I'll go ahead and put conditioner on it and then I will tie it in a plastic bag and leave it in that bag for 30 minutes to an hour so it can get like a nice deep treatment. Then I'll go ahead and wash it and then I always air dry. I do not put any moisturizer on it. I do not put any oils, no olive oil, no oil mix, no dry oil, nothing. The only thing I put on my wigs is heat protector. So sometimes when I'm straightening it or when I am curling it, I'll go ahead and put a heat protector. This is where I like to go in with a serum because I think it brings out a little extra smoothness and a little extra shine in the hair. So BioSilk is what I would use sometimes. This is quite expensive, so you don't have to use it. Literally use any serum that you have but a very, very small amount because it's going to make the hair sticky again, which means it's going to get dirty fast. Your curls won't last as long. Your straight hair is not going to look nice for as long. You literally need like a pea size amount for the entire head. So I will use whatever heat protectant serum I have. I have the John Frieda Frizzies. I will use a drop of that or I'll use this one. It's just that I've had this for a year now and there's no way I'm going to straighten my hair enough times to finish this on time before it expires. So now I'm going to be using this on my hair. I'm going to be using it on my wig just so I can get my money's worth and actually finish the product. But like I said, you don't have to use this. Using unnecessary heat and not using a heat protector if you just blow dry it all the time and then go ahead and curl it with extremely high heats or wax sticks and then putting so much heat on it, your hair is going to thin out so much faster. The wig is going to look so bad so much faster. It will deteriorate very fast okay so please care for your wig as you care for your own hair it will last for so much longer and it will save you so much money because you're not going to have to keep buying and buying and buying especially like if you like this kind of wig and you like to purchase multiple by this time you would have probably gone through like three or four wigs like this if you don't care for them properly so the best thing you can do to make any hair last the longest whether it is cheap or expensive is to care for it properly if you'd like me to do more wig reviews or even sponsored ones companies if you're watching this and you want to send me hair and you're actually gonna pay me the adequate amount 
with sensible hair that I can recommend to my subscribers, please hit me up because I definitely want to do more of these. Again, if you want to see how I curled this wig or anything else to do with wigs, let me know in the comment section below and I would love to know. Hit my face right there if you didn't subscribe in the beginning. Watch the two videos on the side of the screen right here. If you'd like to see any of my older videos, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!